What up, what up, what's up, everybody? Today's video, I thought it would be a great idea to do a video for Friday night dinner time. It's going to be quick and easy. Anybody can do it. Um, if you guys want to uh, watch my live and actually run to the store right quick and get everything you need, for dinner because I'm actually doing this at 625 now. So if y'all want to have a late supper, maybe eight o'clock, this is very, very fast. We're doing Hawaiian roll sliders. That's right. So uh, again, welcome to the channel. If you are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome as well. This is Southern Singing Kitchen. -dum -bum -bum. Southern Singing Kitchen. -dum -bum -bum. Southern Singing Kitchen. All right. So for ingredients, what do we need? We first, because it's a wine roll, you need a wine roll. So I'm making a big batch of Hawaiian rolls for church uh, Sabbath to, well, for tomorrow's service. So we need Hawaiian rolls. If you're making it just for your family, you probably could use just two of these. I'm making two different kinds. So I'm going to do one is going to take uh, these two and the next one will take these two. OK, so we have the bread and then you have your meat of choice. I am doing roast beef sliders and I'm going to do uh, chicken breast sliders. You could do turkey breast. You can actually do veggie sliders, whatever you want for meat. I'm going to use this um, triple cheddar uh, craft mix. You could also use the Mexican uh, blend, uh, but really the secret weapon is this Munster cheese. It gives it the flavor that you need. Um, we need one onion, garlic, and green onions from my garden. The garlic is from a Grow Family Network, my brother's garden. Um, and we have a secret sauce that we use that actually uh, we glaze the uh, top of the rolls with. And that we need brown sugar, butter. Normally, uh, when I get butter, I always use salted butter. We need Worcestershire sauce. And of course, sweet baby rays. And sweet baby rays has a variety of um, flavors. Uh, I just like the original or I get the honey, uh, I believe it's called honey barbecue or something like that. Um, and that's what I use to make the sauce. So let's get to cooking. And as you can tell, this is very easy because it's not really you doing any real cooking besides I do um, saute the onion and the garlic and stuff like that, that I actually put inside of the meat. So it's not that it's not that difficult. I'm about to share this to my Facebook. I hope y'all having a blessed Friday, guys, to be honest. And one more thing. I need to put this little... Uh, all right, now we got our chat up. Make sure everything is pretty good. And the sauce, you do that on the stove, but I'm gonna show y'all how to do it. Okay, so in your pan, you need like a flat pan. Uh, I'm bringing this to church, so I'm gonna use one of these and then my own pan. Um, you're gonna take the bread out and you don't have to do this immediately i do just to get to say i've done something <laughs> i'm the type of person that if i take on a big task i don't like to just wait and finish it i like to have little moments of of success so i tend to um 
break down a big project. Uh, hello. Yes, I'm blessed. That's great. So I tend to break down my process and get little small wins. Um, thank you. Thank you. Um, so what I what we're going to do, let me see if I can lower it so you guys can see. Yep, that's better. So what I tend to do is, like I said, small, small wins. We're going to take this, use a knife. We're going to cut our um, buns or rolls, so to speak, in half. And also, guys, if y'all like maybe bigger sliders, Hawaiian now has the little mini sub rolls that you can um, that you can use that will make it to where you have bigger sliders, so to speak. I like the little smaller ones, especially if I have the kids because they'll tend to eat more if they're smaller. As you can see, my knife is not that short. Probably gonna get another one, which I do have the little. And what I do also find uh, is a good idea is when you, when you cut these in half, Put them back in the pan upside down uh, so you'll know which one goes on top of which because you don't want you don't want it to be like doesn't fit like the top doesn't go with the bottom. Nobody has time for it. This thing's so little. And I, I would put just a quick. I guess tidbit of information. I do let the bottom of the rolls. I want them to be bigger or thicker. You want the bottom so that when you put all that sauce on it, you don't have like a gummy bottom. That's that's nasty. So I put it in here and then I'm gonna open the next one. That way I'll have one pan finish. And the way these pans work, they're never really enough for you to have all of them on here look let's see so let's see. it has enough room for me to do one and a half full like this way if you can see y'all can see and then i'm gonna try to fill in this little section here with another bottom piece if you have a bigger pan you can use all of them. You could even do these circularly. Yeah, no soggy. Nobody wants a soggy slide. It's nasty. <laughs> so again, however I'm putting them in here, I'm actually putting it upside down in there so I know which one goes on which. And these, look how small this thing Come on, Hawaiian roll. Y'all trying to jip us or something with that little old piece of bread? I don't like this one. It's too small. Presentation is everything, people. And if I wouldn't want it, I wouldn't want to give it to nobody else. How about that? All right, perfect. And then this is... This is actually for this. I'll just eat this bread. I don't even like bread, but the Hawaiian roll was really good. Okay, now that we have the... Now that we have our bread done. <laughs> Y'all, funny, funny story. I don't know if it's my dad that says this. Again, remember I told y'all y'all need onion and stuff? So... If somebody was like off or uh, said something or did something crazy, my dad would say, it's either my dad or my mom would say, hmm, that person bread not done. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. I think that's funny. Yeah, so that bread not done all the way. Okay, and what I would do Y'all know I like to use my uh, cast iron skillet. So that's what we have back there. I set my oven to 350. I didn't do it yet, but that's what we're setting it to. 350 to preheat. 
That's my dog barking, if y'all can hear that. And I have actually not been my 100% self. I hurt my back. I pulled a muscle in my back and my hip. And so I have been out of service. That's why I didn't do a live last week cooking. Uh, yeah, you all. Bread not done. Yeah. So I'm going to cut this up really, really small. Because when you're making food for other people, like even though I like anybody knows me, whenever I cook, I cook and I use a lot of garlic. But I know a lot of people don't actually like garlic. A lot of people don't like onions. But hey, we live in Louisiana. So if you don't like garlic and onion and stuff like that, I don't think you're really from here. But hey. So I'm going to cut this up as small as possible. So if the question is, I never know the love for you. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, y'all, I'm very good with the knife. I, uh, I collect knives. So if y'all know like some cool places to get knives, let me know. I only use a half of an onion, and I'm going to use a half of an onion for each one. So I'm going to do, um, I'm going to get another bowl to put my other onions in. And then I'm going to move this as these bowls as far away from me as possible because I don't feel like crying. And I I found a, uh, uh, this guy on YouTube. Um. Uh, he said that the reason we cry from the onion is because we cut off the the this part. We're supposed to let me throw this away because it's making me cry. We're supposed to leave that part on the onion, um, and that and it, it won't make you cry. I haven't tried it, so I'm not sure if it works. But because as you can see, I just cut it off. <laughs> so obviously I didn't try it But maybe it works, maybe it doesn't I'm not sure, I'm going to try it And then let y'all know, maybe I'll do like some tricks Or something, do a video on Supposed kitchen hacks That we use I was out in my garden Earlier And You guys would be proud of me I know my brother would be proud of me I have uh I haven't been out there since I hurt my back, but I am grateful for the rain that came and took care of my plants, my herbs and stuff. I have like six uh, watermelon growing on the vine. I have okra. I have bell peppers. I have uh, lettuce. So I actually have, uh, I actually have, this is like my harvest from like my lettuce. I had, it's like romaine lettuce, um, spinach, and something else. It's like a mixed green uh, thing that I grew. So I literally have enough lettuce in my garden to make my own salad. Like, is that crazy? I think that's crazy. Um, and then if y'all know anybody who need basil, okay? This all came from my garden. That's how much basil I have. It, and, and that's, it's still out there. So anybody need basil? Let me know. I love how real you are. Oh, thanks. Uh, let's see. And the benefits of Grow Family Network. Your brother has a form. And you can get all this stuff for free. So I guess that's the real benefit because I know a lot of people who have like siblings and they're like, well, my sibling has this, but we're not like that. If my sibling has, I have, as you can see. So 
my little trick for now now one thing I will say I have tried that did not work was putting the garlic inside of a putting the garlic inside of a a jar and just shaking it up and it's supposed to come a little a loose no don't work this how I do mine flat knife bop <laughs> Bop, bop, bop. See how easy? And it doesn't matter if it's like uh, cut in half, but because I'm going to cut it up anyway. All right, I got to remove this onion from around me. Other than that, I'm going to, uh, I ain't going to be able to take it. <sighs> okay, next time I would definitely try not um taking that root part off of the onion because oh, my eyes are so sensitive i cry about anything you know but y'all look how big this garlic is look at this not from the store from my brother's garden thank you grow family network they don't have a, a theme song, but over here we do. Southern Singing Kitchen. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Southern Singing Kitchen. Y'all, y'all, uh, if I don't know if y'all, uh, well, for those that don't know, I love singing. I have a, a singing YouTube as well. There's this song by Tina Turner that we reenact at my mom's house whenever we're doing, uh, whenever we are doing karaoke with the babies. I'm going to split this half and half. I'm going to put half with the roast beef, half with the uh, turkey. Now, if I was making this for myself, I would have put this whole, you know, all that garlic in one. And then, such a blessing. I got this out of my own garden. And I have more where that comes. But the song is, um, I'm trying to think of the name of the song. Uh, but it's the part where Ike, uh, Tina had just had the baby, I believe it is. And um, Ike uh, was mad at her because she wasn't ready for the show. And he went in and he was complaining and he, you know, made her feel some type of way about the things he had said. And then when it was time for her to sing, she didn't say anything. It was complete silence. And old Aitana came out and um, gave her that romantic kiss on the cheek. And she was crying. Somebody, fool in love? Yes! Yes, that is it. Again, I'm only going to use half of this, each half of the green onions. I did one green onion. And I put half with each. So if you guys are just joining, we're making a Hawaiian roll sliders. Uh, you can use any meat that you want. Uh, I'm doing um, roast beef and we're doing uh, chicken breast. So if you want to do turkey, um, pastrami, whatever, you can do your slider with that. Just use the rest of the recipe. So we have garlic, onions, and then green onion. And, oh, back to, I, I was telling a story, um, but I wanted to keep everybody up to date. So he comes out, he gives her a kiss, and she's like, oh, something on my mind, want somebody please. Please tell me what's wrong. 
Boom, 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 boom. He's just a fool. He know you in love. What you say? Such a good man. If y'all know that part, that is that's my song. Like anybody who knows me knows that is my song. Even my dog know that's my song. So I'm gonna move this stuff out of the way that I had over here, the, the sauce stuff, so that I can put the thing over here and y'all could actually see. Uh give me a sec. One more time, you know you love him, but you can't understand. I treat you like he do when he's such a good man. Listen, ways of action speak louder than words. The truest saying that I ever heard. Oh, no, I must be a fool. Because I'll do anything you want me to do. Tell me how I come. Yeah, no, you in the all right. We put olive oil in our pan. Y'all know I love using my um uh iron uh, cast iron skillet. Our oven is already preset again to the 350. Hey, y'all, I'm gonna actually do videos on tea because I like uh drinking tea all the time, so I bought me some tea bags. I grow um my own. Lemon balm, uh, uh, spearmint, mint, rosemary, stuff like that. I drink turmeric tea and everything. I don't know why this thing. It's probably because it's getting hot. And so I actually got them out of the garden. This is what my tea bags look like. And so when I let my leaves sit out and they dry, once they become very dry like that, or you could use a... Uh, a dehydrator as well. Once you actually use them like that, they are amazing. And you put them, you stuff them, or you crush them. I crush mine, and then I put them in my tea bag, and then I boil them. I love tea. I love hot tea. As you can see, I actually have three teapots. Like, I have this one because it's cute. It's clear. And I have this one which is, I kind of boil water in that one a lot. And then I have this one, which this one is kind of like the other one where you could just actually put your leaves in here. And, um, and tea is very, very good for you. Not necessarily sweet tea, but um, I'll bag this up because my computer's gritty, foggy. Oh no, I must be a fool cause, I, cause I'll do anything you want me to do Tell me how I come do, 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 do. Alright, we just gonna dump that in there And I don't have any utensils And we're just gonna let that get brown Not burned, brown Y'all, I'm going to tell y'all a story. So, I dated this guy, and it literally was like, went on a date. And he would tell me about how he couldn't really cook. And I was like, what you mean you can't cook? Like, most people, you know, here in Louisiana, even guys can cook. Like, my brothers, they can cook. So... I'm like, what do you mean? Because he was like, well, he had, uh, I think he was like in the military or something. It goes to show you, I really don't know because I didn't went on like one, or maybe one day. So uh, he said that he had uh, fooled some people because a lot of people think that everybody from Louisiana can cook. So he said he went and he had went on a date and he, he had said he was going to make the girl breakfast. And he said he tried to make, he thought what was the simplest thing to do was pancakes. And he made the pancakes and the pancakes were burnt. And he said, he was like, man, how do you mess up breakfast? Like, you know, the pancakes like that. 
and said that the girl was like, oh, okay, this is how y'all make them, you know, in, you know, where you're from in Louisiana. He's like, yeah, that's, you know, the Cajun part of it because it was burnt. It was Cajun. I'm letting y'all know right now, America, America the beautiful. Somebody make you some burn pancakes talking about it's how they do it in Louisiana. They lying, okay? Cajun does not mean burnt. That's not what that means. But they tell you that they lie. Just, just, I'm sorry for people who may be listening that may have tried to use that. That doesn't work. That's a lie. So, okay, back to the recipe. So, again, we have onions, garlic, green onions. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to... We're going to do the chicken breast first. So, now... I basically try to go to the deli because it's so much cheaper when you go to the deli uh, when you're buying uh, deli meat. But they were doing, uh, you know, like when the workers get the order for to bring uh, to for the people and you pick it up. Well, they were doing that and they were taking forever and I, I don't have time for that. So I went and I got the more expensive because I was I didn't want to wait. So, all right, something I didn't say, but that I do is I chop the meat up. I don't leave it like the big pieces. I chop them up. So that way, uh, great. I'm going to put them all in here because I'm making a lot. Oh, no. I must be a fool. I, I'll do anything for me to do. When I pull, when I look, one more time. Yeah, 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 why do you feel like you do? Tell me one more time. Hey, hey, hey. And a lot of people, when they do sliders, they always just leave them whole and then put that cold sandwich meat on top of there. Like, let's work as possible. Let the, you know, whatever you can do, I heat my meat up. Put it on my slider. It, when I put that cheese on there, the cheese going to kind of partially melt a little bit because it's hot. And then we put it in the oven and let the oven put the work in. You know what I'm saying? But see, I want my, I didn't want to just put layers, meaning I didn't want to do layer meat, layer seasoning, then layer cheese. No. What we're going to do, we, we put this in here so that the onion and garlic can go through every piece of meat baby like I tell y'all season your meat and when I say that I don't mean with salt I mean seasoning fresh seasoning garlic onions if you like rosemary if you like thyme oregano put that on there baby that kind of stuff you don't have to measure you don't have to measure because it's not it's a um so a good seasoning. It's not something bad. Now, when it comes to salt, I am not a big, I'm not a big salt person whatsoever. Only time I really focus on if it has enough salt is if I'm making it for somebody else. But if I'm making it for myself, I will sprinkle a little Tony's, a little sea salt or something, one or the other. Not both. Because a lot of those seasonals have, are high in sodium. All right, y'all. So we're ready with this part. And as y'all can see, this is very easy. Y'all can make this a game night. Because don't forget, baby, football season coming back up. So these are our bottoms. Mm, 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 mm. 
Yeah, Hawaiian bread is the only bread that I would just sit here and eat. All right. Putting this on my other. All right. My house is like the theme of like farmhouse. So I have a lot of like, you know, with the white cabinets, I have a lot of wood, different types of wood. All right. See, this is our bottom. I'm taking this. Moving it. And I'm going to just take the meat and I'm going to put that throughout. Now, don't be cheap or, or you know, if you're making this for a, a, din a dinner party or a game night, if you're not going to put meat on here and plenty of it, don't even worry about it. Because if you're going to be a cheap host, don't host, okay? I'm not telling you because I'm a big budget person too. So just make sure it's within your budget before you decide to host the party. And then you host it. Like actually budget it. So you could actually bring people over. Like we, uh, my family know, like I'm big on like game night and stuff like that. So we have game night over here a lot, a lot, a lot. So look at that. Y'all. Slap your mama, okay? I'm not going to slap mine because I'm not crazy. But you slap your mama when you eat this. <laughs> All right, I'm putting this back over here. I'm doing that so I can restart my, um, reheat the skillet up to do the other one. Y'all want to see, like, that's how much meat, like no longer see your bread, okay? I don't want you to no longer see the bread. Got a cheese. I'm kind of doing this cheese for just the color of it, but really the cheese that is important is not this. This is just for presentation. So if you do not have this, don't worry. But this is what you need, okay? Is this okay, though? What is it? I'm telling you. I'm telling you. This is the secret. This is the secret. Don't be stingy. That's correct. Don't be this is this this cheese is expensive. Um, and that might be why it's expensive because it's so good. And I'm not okay, I don't have time for this. I'm not a big cheese person. Like, I'm I like y'all saw my video where I was cooking with the babies. And uh Ariana's job was to put the cheese in the pot. And then she was actually eating the cheese, okay? So be when y'all cook it with the kids, this is something y'all could do with the kids too. And I'm going to layer this. You layer this, baby. I don't want to burn all this stuff, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put it on low. Layer this cheese. Don't be stingy. You know, we don't do stingy. Like when I tell y'all about when I'm putting seasoning and stuff on it, and I tell y'all, you late, you you put that seasoning on it, and you I don't measure. I don't measure when it comes to fresh herbs and stuff like that. That kind of seasoning, I do measure when it comes to salt, but not this. You put enough cheese on here until your ancestors tell you enough. And most times, they're not even saying nothing. They saying yes, my child, yes, more, more, baby. They they I hear them. I hear them. More cheese. More cheese. Don't stop. Get the people what they want. Don't stop. Get the people what they want. Don't stop. Give them, give them what they want. I just made that up. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Don't stop. Get the people what they want. Don't stop. Get the people what they want. Don't stop. Get them people what they want. They want cheese, cheese, more cheese, please. Don't stop. Get the people what they want. Don't stop. Get the people what they want. More cheese, more cheese. Y'all think they'll give me a sponsorship since I just made that up while I was using their cheese? Maybe. You never know. All right. See how I lay at that? We don't even see the bread. What bread? We don't even see the bread. What bread? Bread? And I'm doing the same exact thing uh, for the roast beef. Same exact thing. We're going to cut this roast beef up. Trash, trash, more trash. I'm just cutting it up. Bam, bam. Let me move this out the way. Because right now there's nothing else to do with this one besides me waiting until I'm ready to do the sauce. But I'm going to do the sauce at the same time so that y'all can actually see me do it. So this is the roast beef. I'm basically just taking this and I'm chopping it up just like I did the turkey breast and I'm throwing it in the pot. Take this because I gotta put up the other one. So, all right, y'all about to laugh because I'm about to laugh. I just noticed that I was supposed to do roast beef. Uh, this way better than TV. <laughs> was about to be way better than TV is. Watch this. So, I don't know how this happened. It's supposed to be roast beef. So that one is roast beef. But I just opened this one and it says pastrami. Oh, well. Roast beef pastrami. Anybody had that together? Or do y'all think I should do the roast beef with the turkey? What y'all think? I'm already chopping it up. Come on, y'all. I need, I, I need help. I need help. <laughs> y'all. So look. There was this 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 uh show. I think it was called Piano. And there was this the part of the, the show was or it's a movie, and the lady was in there on the piano. I don't remember if it was the more cheese. <laughs> I don't remember if it was the the woman, the ghost was making them play the piano, but it was like uh, uh, help me, uh, doo -doo -doo. help me, mama, help me, help me. <laughs> and I always ask people about that, and I don't even know what pastrami is. <gasps> oh, mercy, I don't either. It says pastrami beef, it's water, vinegar, sea salt, black pepper, sugar. And celery juice powder. A miracle. Well, as long as it's not pork, because I don't do pork. So, I'm dumping it in. Oh, shoot. Somebody say do the turkey. Uh, good job. Because I was about to dump it. But turkey with the with the uh, roast beef. Good job. I almost messed it up. Okay. Thank you, Crystal. Appreciate it. Cut that up, cut it up, cut it up, cut it up. Wow. Okay, so it's going to be roast beef up and turkey breast. Again, anybody just joining in? We're doing... Hawaiian rolls. <laughs> We're doing Hawaiian roll sliders. We're using roast beef and then chicken breast. So the first one we did was chicken breast. We did onions, garlic, and green onions um, with 
triple cheddar uh, cheese and musta cheese. Uh, and then we're gonna do a secret sauce that's not so secret because I'm telling y'all the ingredients. All right, I actually, while I'm waiting on that to cook, I can put the top of this on. That away. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. 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 Y'all don't like when they got the bread. I'm about to use my other knife to do this one. Y'all, look how beautiful. Oh, beautiful for spacious skies. For amber waves of gray, for purple mountain majesty, above the fruity plains of America, America, yeah, I shed his grace on me and crown thy foot in brotherhood. From sea to shine in sea. All right. All right. Somebody said, you're wolf for my little turkey. I like turkey too. All right. We're going to do the second one. And maybe y'all can see how I'm cutting the bread again. This is so important, people. When you are cutting the bread, leave more bottom than top. Because when we pour this sauce on here and it goes to the bottom and that cheese starts melting, nobody wants a soggy bottom slider. Just say it. Just say it. Now, where is my knife that I like? Maybe I'll use this knife. Let's see. That's a good knife, people. Wow, cut, cut. You need to cut it. <laughs> Look at this. OMG. That was better. Do y'all see how much bottom I left? Please, please, for the sake of your family and friends and the people you're going to feed, please leave bottom, more bottom, please. For all my gardeners that have your own garden, you have your own chickens, whether you're stuff like that, you have a lot of herbs and stuff that you are collecting outside, like your green onions, your bell peppers. You could, I could have put bell peppers in here too, because I have bell peppers outside in my garden. That feels so good to say. I told my mama about it too. I said, Mama, guess what? I have bell peppers growing in the yards. Look at this. I'm gonna put that in here, baby. Mm, mm. Now, this pan is a little not proportionate to the other pan. We're going to push this over here, baby, because the more sliders, the better. Again, like what other sport is is? Because basketball is almost over. So, hey, if you're watching the final four, make some sliders. Make some sliders, people. Okay. Y'all want the kids to help? Y'all looking for, like, good ideas for the kids to help out? Sliders, look how easy this is. I put all that in the oven. Not in the oven, on the stove. Y'all, this smells amazing. Wow. So maybe the, the, the turkey and the roast beef was a great idea, Crystal. Great, great, great. Chef Bang, come hello, how are you? I'm great, how are you? We're out here cooking slops. And again, I always, I'm saying this again, if you're not gonna put enough meat on this slider, don't make it. 
Nobody want a meatless slider unless they're vegetarian. And even if they're vegetarian, they're going to want something on the slide. So don't be stingy with the vegetables. Like put it on here to where I don't see the bread. I don't want to see the bread. The bread is there. We know it's there, but we don't want to see it. Not on no slider, baby. No, 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 no. No, no, no. All right. All right, all right, all right. I'm trying to do a good mixture of the, I feel like that one is not roast beef. That got all the turkey right there. Mix it up. I wish I, sh I should have mixed it up before I put it on here. Now this piece of bread is turned sideways. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. Y'all, this is beautiful. I just want you to know the sliders look beautiful. Oh, 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 oh. All right, I need a, I need to move this out of my way. Out of, out of, out of, out of my way. Out of my way, I'm gonna need a pot to make my sauce. Oh! Y'all, I hurt my back, so I'm kind of like hurting. Kind of, kind of like hurting, hurting over here, but it's okay. It's okay. Y'all, look at this. I'm about to cry. It's so beautiful. All right, again, this cheese is just how often do you cook? Uh, all the time. <laughs> I cook like. For work, I do. I try to do like meal prep. Since I hurt my back, I wasn't able to cook the last two weeks. So um, I've been eating out a lot, which I do not like because I can't tell what's in it. So I prefer cooking myself so that I know what's in it. Um, again, guys, meal so you making me hungry. What up, sis? What up, living with Miss Bevs? You talking about I'm making you hungry when you just made lasagna. That definitely made me hungry. But them kids told me they not leaving me nothing. Y'all, again, don't be stingy with the cheese. I know cheese is expensive. This Munster cheese, is, is it is expensive. Trust me. When I went and saw how much it cost, I kind of second-guessed it. But when I taste it, when, when, when that flavor hits your palate, you're going to say, job, well done. Well done. Well. Well. Job well done. Y'all, I don't know who came up with this flavor of cheese. And I haven't had it on anything else. So I don't know. But this cheese is probably the best cheese I've tasted in my life on a slider. And I, I will reference and say on a slider because I don't know what it tastes like on something else. Maybe I'll make. I was today, I, I had a choice of making this, uh, the sliders, or I was going to make a vegetarian um, mushroom uh, burger that I make. Put it on thick. Yes. I just said, don't be stingy with the cheese, baby. You put that cheese and you put it on and you say to yourself, well, is that too much cheese? Really? Who says that? On a slider, is it too much cheese? I've never had somebody eat a slider and say, Oh, they put too much cheese on this slider. If they did, then they crazy. But everybody else is like, Oh, the cheese. Look, look at that cheese on that slider. Like that looks amazing, you know. So, guys, what I'm gonna do because I'm making this for church tomorrow, so I won't be able to actually eat it in front of y'all. So instead. 
<laughs> what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make me, if I can, let me think. I can make the pastrami one and taste that in front of y'all. Okay, so y'all looking at this. Wow, look how beautiful this is, y'all. Sargento is the best. Yes, but Sargento is expensive. <laughs> So Gento is the best, but it is expensive. Oh, Heidi Holmes say I can't have cheese. Oh, wow. Wow. I'm not. Well, can you not have this kind of cheese? Because I know there's vegan cheese and I'm not sure if it's the same. My sister is vegetarian. She's been vegetarian for a while. I can ask her if it's the same. Um or cheese or what I would have to look up what's a good cheese substitute let me look online right quick anybody who knows me knows that I'm a cheat you know a, a online researcher if I don't know the answer somebody does and that somebody is normally Google uh, I put cheese substitute hmm they said there are plant-based meats and cheese okay so can't eat dairy here are seven best alternatives to cheese. Let's see, everybody. We're about to have an educational um, moment here. OK, this says Kite Hill Ricotta. Now, see, the, the, I mean, wow. All these ads. It says, if you're vegan or lactose intolerant, but love the taste and texture of cheese, Kite Hill is for you. It's made all, it's made with almond milk instead of cow milk. And this substitute resembles the real deal. They say sweet potato sauce, cashew cheese, zucchini cheese. Um, they say Daya cheese is a great choice because it comes shredded and melts like regular cheese, uh, which says it's dairy free. So maybe you could try one of these, um, Heidi Holmes, if you can't have cheese and see if that, um, helps. And if it does, then come back to this live and put it in the comments so we'll know if it actually works all right y'all we're gonna move to oh my back sorry y'all all right and then okay so All right, so here, well, y'all can't see inside of there. Hold on. Well, y'all probably, probably need to see inside of the pot, but it looks so much better when y'all can. Shoot. Y'all can see inside the pot? Because what else? Like, it don't make sense to do nothing else. Uh, okay, so what we're going to do, turn that on. And I'm not sure why this thing is red like this, because it's not even up that high. But you do want it on low. You don't want it on high. We're going to put some barbecue sauce. And again, your choice. Oh, that's too much. <laughs> Good night, Irene. Wow, y'all. Shoot. I need. <laughs> Still feel like that's too much. 
and we. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to do. Never had those. Maybe they're at Whole Foods. Whole Foods are probably sprouts. I think it's, is it sprouts? Hey, and again, brown sugar. Oh, well. <laughs> no, it's not bad. We're going to do butter. I let my butter soften. And we're doing one, two, well, count this way. One, two, three tablespoons of butter. Bam. And I'm trying to make sure I don't already have a Worcestershire sauce open before I open this one. Okay, I do have one already open. All right. Bam! Secret sauce. And y'all look, just do it until you feel like it. Like, you know, having measurements and all that, it ain't it ain't everything it cracked up to be. Nah, we gonna whip that thing like this, okay? We're going to get it all mixed up. I'm going to add some more butter, but not right now. We're going to cook this down for a little while. And y'all, I'm telling y'all, this is something y'all can make with the kids. This is something you can make for game night. This is something y'all can do for um, football season coming up, tailgating. It's very easy if y'all, if somebody say, hey, we tailgating or we having a party and everybody brings something. Look how easy this is. Nobody really wants to be the one that make, you know, yeah, man, I don't want to not show up with something, but I really don't feel like doing a lot of cooking. Then this is it. This is what you do. Sliders. And everybody going to be talking about how good it was. So, well, I don't know. That's like a double-edged sword. When it's so good that everybody wants you to make it again. That's how it is. I've made this for church before. And um, they loved, loved, loved it. Like, they didn't have any more left when I made it. Uh, I'm trying to see if I have another bread. I'm going to make one of these in my cast iron skillet. I'm going to do that uh, pastrami. One in there, if I can get some more bread, but I don't have any more bread. Mm. I wanted to be able to cut it and show y'all how good it was, but I can't do it because it's not for me. It's the truth, man. If I wouldn't have ate that bread I ate up just a while ago, I ate all the bread that was gonna be the leftover bread. Mm -hmm. You said, what was that noise? What, what was it? Ain't no telling. Me dropping something or hitting these cabinets. I feel like it's not up enough. Like, I need it to. Y'all don't. I'm. I don't, my mom always say I cook on high. I do. It looks yummy. Hopefully it is. I've had it before. It's amazing. I've had it at my game night. It has always been a success. I made two pans before for uh, church on Sabbath. 
and everybody love them. I'm gonna add the last two tablespoons of butter. Bam. Wanted to cook a little faster, but it's going slow. And again, I told y'all my oven is on uh 350. Take stuff out of there. I always forgetting what I have to do. Oh. Now it's time to clean up, clean up. Everybody, everywhere, clean up, clean up. Everybody do your shit. Clean up. That's a Barney song. Clean up, clean up. Everybody everywhere. Y'all, look at this. And I don't know if y'all, I, I guess it depends on where you are if you have Sweet Baby Rays, but I think Sweet Baby Rays is everywhere. And we basically just trying to cook the sugar down. But if, like, I feel like this. Technology has gotten so good, but you guys cannot smell this yet. Like, come on, technology. Y'all behind. Come on, Apple. Y'all behind, baby. At some point, we should be able to, I should be able to do like this. And y'all say, mmm, that smells amazing. But you can't do that yet. Because Apple has not come up with their technology. Or they have it and they just not telling us. And again, because that sugar is in there and sugar cooks fast, you want to keep stirring it. Me and my sister was watching TikToks and there's this girl from, I think she's from Tennessee. And like some of the words that she uses, like she says, it sounds weird based on her accent. So I don't know. I said stir just a while ago. I don't know if that sounds weird. <laughs> I don't know if I sound country or not. Yes, we have it here in Maryland. All right, Crystal. Yeah, baby. Y'all have it? Use it. All right. Okay, so give me a second. Oh, and I'm looking for this. Okay, now what I'm going to do here is going to brush that thing. Now, look, I'm only brushing it but I'm actually going to pour it inside of the little crevices too. But I'm going to brush it first. Y'all, my mercy, y'all, this is so beautiful. Like, like, look at this. Like, look at this. This is beautiful. Like, who does this? I don't know if y'all can hear how it sounds while I'm just slapping it on that. Whap. This is why y'all want to leave that bottom part, the bottom piece of your bread, having more thickness than the top. This is why, okay? Because we're going to pour. I wish I had something that I could pour it, have it like on it. I'm gonna pull that thing in there. I need to open these up some. This is why you wanna have, hello, Janice. Are you kidding the Phyllis Hyman? That song, meet me on the moon. Please don't be late. Oh, how I hate to wait. You're so great. Blind from my love. That's what we need. We can sail upon the seas to the everlasting moment of love. Oh, I feel your symphony so strong and so pure. It echoes all in me. I am so sure 
that we were meant to be. Sharing this moment of love. Oh, I feel your symphony. Yay, I love that song. Who's going to eat all that? Oh, no, this was church, not the kids. Yes, you are. Oh, mercy. I love her. I love her. Oh. Ah! Y'all, like I literally was, uh, I follow um, a page on Instagram. Y'all, oh my goodness. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I know what I can do. I know that. Y'all tired. I forgot that was in the stove. Okay, so I'm going to make me one with this pastrami. Okay, the problem is I don't have any more cheese. Do I? I am so sure it is All right. All right. Bam. Oh, I'm trying to do one where I can show y'all like me eating it. Me too. Bruh, I follow the Phyllis Hyman thing and uh, I love that song. I've loved that song since I was in eighth grade. Meet Me on the Moon. That's one of my favorite, favorite songs by her. I put my cheese on there. I'll put some sauce. Y'all. <laughs> y'all, this sauce. Mm, mm, mm. Mm -mm -mm. And I don't have a top to the bread because I ate it. So I'm just going to put the bottom back on. And I'll put, I'm about to put these in the oven. The oven is set to 350. And we're basically going to leave them in now. The cheese doesn't take long to melt. I'm putting them on the, ow, shit. Putting them on the middle rack. Oh, and I'm gonna put no, I can't touch this. Uh, boom, do, 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 can't touch this. Uh, I'm gonna put this on. Where I'm putting this, y'all? On the top right. But I love Phyllis Ham by Galiwa. I didn't know that was her. Bet you by golly wow. No, that's not it, is it? Huh? Janice, huh? Wait a minute, that's her? Hold on, y'all. Not that one. Maybe I, maybe it's another one. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. Bluehost can help turn your business into a website with an online store. Now that's a sales. Yeah, that's a commercial, sorry. Yeah, her voice is so beautiful. Anybody don't know Phyllis Hyman, please, please, please get to know her. Okay. Uh, get to know her, please. Like if you love music, listen to that song or listen to the one I talked about, which is Meet Me on the Moon. That is my favorite song. What's going on here? I refuse to be lonely. All right. So we basically are doing a, we're waiting now. And uh, Abstract CEO, there are, uh, and uh, who else? Uh, Abstract CEO and Heidi, uh, there are vegetarian options for sliders. Um, there are, uh, you could just do a bunch of vegetables, heat it up on the stove. 
Um, you can do, we looked up all the different uh, types of plant-based cheeses or non-dairy cheeses. Um, uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Yeah. Oh, y'all. And for those who didn't, uh, who wasn't here first, I was telling y'all, I have enough salad out of my garden to make a salad. Look how cool this is. I have to rinse it off and then I'm going to make me a salad uh, for later. And um, now I can start cleaning up, y'all. So I don't have that much to do once this live is over. Oh, mercy. What are y'all eating today for dinner? Because it's Friday and I'm going to party and get my groove on. See, you want to party? <laughs> What's going on? Friday, y'all. What y'all eating? What are you guys eating for dinner and supper tonight? Or even this weekend? What are y'all eating? What are your plans? If you want to party. Yeah. And I'm going to party. And get my groove on, get my groove on. It's Friday, it's Friday, y'all. We're gonna party and get my groove on. Say you're gonna party. I will have to look into the vegan options. Rotisserie chicken and salad. That sounds amazing. Rotisserie and salad. That does sound good. Is it like a uh, rotisserie where you made rotisserie chicken? I used to have a rotisserie and I loved it. I did um, Cornish hen all the time and chicken wings and stuff like that. Salmon. Salmon, fried potatoes, and a salad. What do you mean fried potatoes? Like french fries or like sautéed? Potatoes. What's fried potatoes? Big homie rare. Is that how you say it? Big homie rare. I got a whole chicken out on the smoke. I'm doing chicken gyros. Come through. Yes. Wow. Now I used to have a smoker. I used to have the little, uh, the electric smoker though. Um, I don't have it anymore. I was thinking about getting it again. I used to do a lot of like, uh, beef ribs, uh, a lot of, uh, shoot, sausages, beef sausages and stuff like that. And, uh, corn and stuff in the smoker thing. Home fries with green peppers. Wow. That's amazing. Giants food, rotisserie chicken. Yes. Wow. Love it, love it, love it. But I, I like that idea of home fries. Now, my baby sister makes some good home fries. I really love it. If you want to party, party, get my groove on. Get my groove on. It's Friday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And I'm going to party. Get my groove on. Get my groove on. If you want to party. If you want to party. Yeah. But I like rotisserie chicken too. I like the one from Walmart. <laughs> Since I don't have a. Uh, since I don't have my rotisserie uh, grill anymore, I do. Uh... Yeah. Um, I don't even remember what I was saying, but we waiting. We're waiting. We're waiting. Let's see. Well, look how beautiful that looks. Can we turn the light on, people? Look how beautiful. You're beautiful. I just want you to know. 
if you have a P.O. box, I can send you some of my barbecue rub and poultry. Now, come through. I'm going to have to get one. <laughs> wow. What is a good juice blend for energy? You can do the one I did, um, the sweet potato one. Uh, it's high and uh, the sweet potatoes are good for protein and stuff like that. Um, you could do the celery one. That's good to do like uh, cleansing out like your body and stuff like that. So sometimes when we do not detox ourselves, we have a lot of uh, what makes us tired is the stuff we eat. So just say this, for instance, I don't do this all the time. Uh, bread, high starch, high carbs kind of tend to drain you. Um Sometimes when we eat it all the time, we don't notice the difference. But if you stop eating a lot of carbs, you'll realize you'll get enough, a lot of, a lot of energy. You'll get your energy back. But uh, celery, um, ginger. Um, let me see. I have some things that I have that I, I juice, but I don't. Uh, I haven't posted them yet. Um, let me see. Give me a second. If you want to party. And also, if you have like um, iron deficiencies, that will make you not have energy as well. So you could do like tomato juice. You can do um, a lot of spinach, which has a lot of iron in it as well. Uh, let's see. If you want to, wow, well, I got my oven open, y'all. If you want to party, yeah. Mm -hmm. Party, get my groove on. I don't know why that's going to be stuck in my head. It's Friday, girls, it is. And you want to party and get my groove, get my groove on. It's Friday. So, apples, um, I did that, that green juice that I did, it actually had celery and green apples. So apples are good because it's high in fiber. So it'll tend to burn up the stuff in your digestive system will, will help kickstart your metabolism. And that tends to give you energy. Um, a lot of times we're sluggish because we still have residue in our gut, in our digestive system. And so that what tends to make us tired. If you start the morning off with a green juice like that, it kind of breaks down the stuff and everything you eat, it'll keep breaking it down as the day goes by. Instead of you just holding all of that food inside of your body and it's getting older and older and it's making you tired. So you can try that green juice or you can mix um, and do a orange juice. If you have a smoothie, like, I mean a, a blender, I have different kinds of blenders. So I have this one. I have this one, which I hurt on my back, y'all, which comes like this. So, wait, that's not it. What, that is it. So, where's the rest of it? Oh, so I have been out of it. So, I really don't know where everything is. Let's see. If you want to party. You can party with my food. Let's really try now, I, have, I see everything but the little part that sits on here. And we're going to party with my food. But anyway, basically what it is, is it is a... Um, it's a blender, not a blender. It's like a juicer, but for citrus. So I wish I found the part for y'all. I really want to show y'all. Oh, man. Oh. I really don't know where it's at. I don't know where it is. I have been out of it. So... Uh, my family has been such a help 
Um, shout out to my family for helping me throughout my injury. Um, but they did come over, clean up for me, and um, some things I don't know where it is because I've lost it. And then other things I don't know where it is because they may have put it somewhere that I normally don't put things. Like I couldn't find my cups, like, you know, like your measuring cups. And I was panicking. I was like, now where could my measuring cups be? Have I thrown them away? And because I normally put my measuring cups in here, but they were over there with my forks and stuff. So I thought I had lost them, but really didn't. But anyway, uh, oranges are very good, but you have to be careful with oranges, red apples when you are um, diabetic because they are sugary. But they're a better source of sugar because it's not white sugar. So it's not um, refined sugar. So your body sometimes like if you're if you're a uh, diabetic and your insulin is low, then they'll tend to say you get a peppermint or drink some orange juice to elevate your sugar a little bit um, until they could elevate to a, a regular level. Uh, but this thing you put a little. Um, it's like a little circular thing in it. And it's just for juice, juicing oranges and citrus. So if you're gonna do an orange juice for energy, uh, then use this juicer, cause it's it's the best one. And you could get this at Walmart. It's probably like $50. If, it's probably not even that much. Let's look online. And the reason I tend to, oh yeah, and this thing goes on top of it to keep it down while it just spins and it pushes the juice out. Let's see, Walmart. It's Friday. I have a panini presser too. I'm gonna make some sandwiches, show y'all how to make some nice sandwiches. Uh, let's see, orange. Uh, orange. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, it's probably like called citrus or something. If you want a party, what is wrong with this thing? And we gonna party. They even have the other ones that like this, like if you're doing juice, but I, that looks fancy, but hey, it's like you put your oranges in it and you smash it down like that. Nobody doing that. You're a great group. Thank you. But I'm looking for the one, this the one I have. Here it is. It's on Amazon for $26. So it might be like that on a uh, wall at Walmart too. But that's what I use for, you know, making, uh, making orange juice and that's good to uh, boost your energy. Uh, Ms. Hyman. All right, y'all. I don't know how many minutes I normally leave it in there for about 15 minutes. It's probably been 15 minutes. So I'm going to take it out. I use these. Take them out and use this. I need to move this off of here. But I'm gonna I'm gonna save that little meat for my dog. That's why I'm not throwing it away. Now, where did I put? Oh, my back hurts. Y'all, I need another. Oh, here it is. Yeah, I love sunflowers. That's my favorite. Uh, good evening, everyone. Good evening. Y'all, I'm telling you, look, that's perfect. And that barbecue sauce is bubbling. I'm telling y'all, y'all, telling y'all, okay? Give me a thumbs up. I'm, I'm putting in work over here. I'm putting in work over here, man. 
I'm telling y'all. Look like they say, this is not easy. Yes, it is. <laughs> this is super easy to do this, y'all. I'm telling you, you can do it with your kids, game night, uh, whether it's like, you know, everybody over playing cards. This is a good uh, appetizer. This is good if you're tailgating, come uh, football season, whatever sport you like, basketball, final four, everybody over to watch the final four. Bam. You're being invited somewhere and they say, hey, potluck. Bam. All you need is Hawaiian rolls. Uh, they even have the Hawaiian subs if you want to make those. Uh, again, make sure the bottom has more uh, bread left than the actual top because you don't want the bottom to be, be soggy because you or adding that barbecue sauce that's going to seep down in there. Um, you're going to use any meat that you want. We did roast beef and roast beef and turkey on one. And then we did uh, chicken breast on the other. If uh, in on the stove, we chopped all that up. We put onions. We sauteed down onions, garlic, uh, green onions. The green onions came out of my garden. The... The garlic, uh, which is here, came from my brother's farm, which is Grow Family Network. You guys know who that is. And um, the onions came from Walmart. <laughs> so I sauteed that down in the stove. I added the meat that I, my choice of meat that I wanted in, in the stove, chopped it up. I didn't leave the meat whole. I chopped it up, the deli meat. Uh, and then we did the sauce on the stove, which the sauce required, which is our sauce. Your choice of barbecue sauce, um, brown sugar, and butter. And you let that cook down on the stove. We put the bottom part of the bread, the bottom of the pan. On top of that, we put the meat and the sauteed onions together. Then we added the cheese. The cheese we used was the Mexican cheese or your uh, blend, any blend of like the little shredded cheese. And I only do that for presentation and then the Munster cheese from Sargento or Sorrento and that is the cheese that you definitely do not want to uh, skimp on or substitute uh, unless you can't have uh, unless you can't have cheese then definitely substitute find something else um, and then we put the bread on we put that slap that barbecue sauce mixture on it, put it in the oven, 350 for about 15 minutes or longer, depending on how long you want or how much do you want the cheese melted. Um, I, I didn't do it that long because this is not for me. Well, it's for me, but it's for um, church uh, tomorrow for Sabbath uh, dinner. So we're going to bring that there and we'll reheat it, uh, reheat it up there. So I didn't want it, it. It doesn't need to be heated to the max here at home tonight because tomorrow they're going to have to reheat it again. But this, I put this on the side for myself. Oh, oh, y'all, the barbecue sauce. Woo. Oh, my God. <laughs> Can I get an amen? Yeah. Y'all. Mm. 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 Teach me how to dug it. Did you have to do it? Yeah. Did you have to do it? That's right. All right. Y'all, it's the sauce for me. So much sauce for me. And the cheese for me. Okay. Uh, them joints look like Tony does. They're great. <laughs> y'all, I really want to eat them, but. I can't. So I made this one so that I can show y'all, but I ate the top of it. I ate it by mistake before I came up with the idea that I could make one to show y'all. So this is really the two bottoms pieces of bread. I don't think it matters. Mm. 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 Y'all, we didn't know what pastrami was. But 
the baby. Let me tell you, Shay. Bonus, say the mom. Oh, I can't even pick it up. The cheese, y'all, my mouth watering. Oh, yeah. Oh, I just want to bite on it, but you know it's hot. It's hot. But you know, you know how we do. Hey, we died. We down here in the side, baby. You don't wait till your food cool off. You just keep biting on it. And go hot, 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 hot. You got a blood while you eat it. Mm, look at the bread, y'all, at the bottom. It's not soggy. It's actually got a crunch on it. Mm, 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 I don't want colorblind all of a sudden. When you add the brown sugar, it gives it like this sweet taste that is like, mm, 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 mm. My dog is barking. He's going to get a fake version, which is just pastrami. He's going to be satisfied, though, but... Mm. Mm. Y'all, I'm sorry that technology has not improved to the point to where I can put this up there and let y'all taste this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, America. But one day, one day, I'm going to be able to say, this is good, and then cut a piece of this and give it to each of y'all. Mm. Mm. But I'm telling you, y'all gotta take my word for it. Y'all, please try this recipe. And when y'all put that cheese on now, and you notice the difference. Mm. 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 My goodness. Mm. 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 Y'all know it's good when you don't say nothing. <laughs> but <laughs> all right, guys. As you can see, we made amazing sliders. Again, Hawaiian roll roast beef turkey sliders. Hawaiian roll chicken breast sliders. I hope y'all enjoyed my live. I enjoyed you all. Thank you for interacting with me. I really do appreciate it. Thanks for taking your Friday evening and spending it with me. I hope you guys enjoy the Sabbath. As always, live and love. Love yourself enough to eat right. And love yourself enough to enjoy life. And I mean, live it up. Uh, this is Southern Singing Kitchen. Southern Singing Kitchen. Southern Singing Kitchen. I enjoyed y'all. Bye. Bye, everybody. Hope y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day. Thanks for informing the video. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Love y'all. Bye.